Hello there, this is Darth Melvin, leader of the Knights of Melvin. So it has been confirmed that The Mandalorian Season 4 is going to be made into a movie, The Mandalorian and Grogu. But there has been some contradicting reports that this might not entirely be true. That Season 4 might actually take place on Communist Plus, but the finale will be a movie. Now, I think that would be a giant mistake for them because they are counting on a lot of normies, a lot of Star Wars NPCs going to see this movie. And if they have to watch about six, seven episodes on Communist Plus before this movie, that's not going to go well. I mean, it didn't work out for Ahsoka where they told you you didn't need to see Rebels before watching it, but you needed to see Rebels. You were lost. You had no connection to these characters. You didn't know who Sabine was. You didn't know who the fuck Ezra was. And this would be the same case. And the reason why they are making this a movie, the scripts are already written for this. They could be shooting this right now, planning a season four release. The reason why they are making this a movie is because season three flopped on Communist Plus. The ratings were terrible. And so this is a, an effort to change that up. Put it out in the theater. See if this will make money. As far as our movement to avenge Star Wars, this is make or break. For all the people that watch this channel, tune into the streams, this is it. This is your time to boycott the movie to avenge Star Wars. Let's see this movie flop. All right, I want to take you through what we're dealing with with Disney Star Wars and our movement to avenge Star Wars and our hope that Disney completely fails. Going into 2023, Disney Star Wars was already a disaster with their sequel trilogy, with the Kenobi show, the Book of Boba Fett. You know, some people liked The Mandalorian, seasons one and two, but then season three came out and a lot of people jumped ship. A lot of people realized that this is just bullshit. The Disney Star Wars shows on Communist Plus are very much like the sequel trilogy, where it is dysfunctional, it is terrible writing, bad acting, and it's just not Star Wars. But going into 2023, you had people hopeful for The Mandalorian Season 3, and that flopped big time. People jumped ship. But people were still clinging, be like Dave Filoni. Dave Filoni, George Lucas is a apprentice. He's going to save Star Wars, everyone. Dave Filoni, Ahsoka, live action premiere. That came, that was terrible, and more people jumped ship. 2023 was a massive failure for Disney Star Wars. Huge failure. And we go into 2024. What have we got going on? The Skeleton Crew? That is going to be the Andor of 2024. If anyone does like it, it's going to be a small group of fake fans. Complete garbage show. And then you have the big release in 2024, The Acolyte, directed by Leslie Headland. I'm predicting that to be the worst Star Wars show ever on Communist Plus. You're going to have the bad writing and the activism all in one. It is going to be a pure comedy, and I'm going to enjoy ripping it apart on the channel. So, as bad as 2023 was... 2024 is going to be even worse. Then we get into 2025 and or season two that is being released. Now, no one likes Andor. You have a small group of fake fans that love Andor. Season two, I think is going to be faster paced, more action. You might win back a couple people that hated it. Fake fans, of course. But for the most part, it's irrelevant. People have decided that Andor is terrible. You couldn't keep our interest with 12 episodes. What's a second season going to do? And in 2025, Ahsoka Season 2 is rumored to come out. 2025 or early 2026. And it's the same thing as Andor. If Season 1 was terrible, why is Season 2 going to be any good? Why should anyone be excited about Season 2? The thing about Ahsoka, there's a lot of people coping about Season 1. They know it was garbage. 
But they're saying, hey, we gotta see what happens in season two. You know what you're gonna get in season two? You're gonna get more Sabine Wren wrecking people with the Force. Something that she has not trained for. Something she's not qualified to do. Someone that had no aptitude with the Force to begin with. She's going to be slicing and dicing people. Season two of Ahsoka is gonna be an absolute failure. If you thought season one was bad, Season 2 is going to be an even bigger joke. And then that takes us in to 2026. And that's where The Mandalorian and Grogu comes in. They're putting this movie before the Rey movie, because obviously that movie's going to flop. I mean, they're making a Rey movie and expecting to make money. So they're putting this Mandalorian and Grogu movie as the first movie to be released in 2026, because they are hoping to bait you in to seeing it. To seeing the movie and being like, you know what, that was pretty good. I'm gonna give all this other stuff a chance. I'm gonna subscribe to Communist Plus, and you know what, hell, I'm gonna give the Ray movie a chance too. And here's the major thing that you gotta remember about this movie. Don't give Disney your money. Don't go see this movie. This movie is shit. The Mandalorian is a garbage series. Grogu is a garbage character. Disney Star Wars is not Star Wars. If we are going to see the destruction of Disney Star Wars, this movie needs to flop. This movie needs to lose money. And if it loses money, Disney is going to fucking panic. They are going to lose their shit. In 2028, maybe? Filoni is scheduled to cap off the entire Mandoverse and Ahsoka in another movie. And if there is absolutely no momentum going into that, that movie, which will, will be a CGI fest of Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, Princess Leia, that will flop as well. I get a lot of people venting about how they hate Disney Star Wars, how they are very upset with the sequel trilogy, very upset with certain shows. This is your chance to stick it to them. They think they could put this out in theaters and get your money and make a successful project. Stick it to them and don't go. Don't give them your fucking money. They don't deserve it. And become a knight. Subscribe to the channel, give yourself to the dark side, and let's enjoy the complete destruction of Disney Star Wars. Because that is more entertaining than clinging to Disney Star Wars for some people only like 10, 20% of it, but they keep watching. They keep giving them their money and be like, well, I, 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 I just care if you're, you're toxic in the fandom. <laughs> Stop being a little bitch. Don't give Disney Star Wars your money. Become a knight, subscribe to the channel. Join the Knights of Melvin Discord. Help Lot to take down Disney and all their shills. The dark side of the Force is a pathway to many abilities some consider to be unnatural. <laughs>